Today we get to begin our goodbyes to Rick Perry as a presidential candidate. He had a good run, except he didn't at all. It was a fairly pathetic uh, campaign that will be soon forgotten, I imagine. It was marked by bizarre faux pas like earlier today when he said that a broken clock is right once a day. He's such a George Bush. And then, of course, there were his stated policy positions like, I don't remember any, and chances are you don't. What is his campaign really about? Does anyone know? He's not really that extreme in terms of foreign policy. He doesn't have anything bombastic to say about ISIS or the economy or gays. He's just kind of conservative and he happens to come from Texas. That's pretty much it. So why is it that today I'm saying he's on his way out as a candidate? Well, it's the long line of bad news for Rick Perry culminating in today. He lost some staff in New Hampshire. And when I say some, I mean all of his staff in New Hampshire gone, done. He's lost all of it, which is really bad when New Hampshire is one of the most important early states. Now, when you combine that with the fact that uh, just a little while ago, his campaign staff in Iowa was taken down from 10 paid people to just one, that's not good. You can't just have one person and Rick Perry work in the two biggest early primary states. Also, a little bit over a month ago, his fundraising uh, almost entirely dried up such that back on August 10th, he stopped paying all of his staff at his national headquarters and at a bunch of the regional ones. This is a bad sign for someone trying to become the presidency if they can't convince a couple of dozen people to work for them in just two or three states. Uh, he lost other uh, important people in his campaign to, to other uh, Republican candidates. Let's see, uh, his Iowa campaign co-chair joined Rick Santorum. His New Hampshire political director went to Kasich and another uh, national co-chair went to Trump. And so we know that they can't agree on where they want to go, but they do know this, they don't want to stick around with Rick Perry anymore. And the political director from New Hampshire actually had sort of advice for Governor Perry on his way out saying, it has become clear that the path forward for Governor Perry is not through New Hampshire. Well, Rick, don't worry, there is actually a path forward. It's marked emergency exit. Don't let the door hit your ass on your way out. And that's my final judgment.